Okay, Chris McDonald here. We're in Kona, Hawaii with the legend man himself, Chris Lee. Um, you're just, just telling me it was 18 years you've been coming to the island now. So how how does 18 years down the road compare to number one? Learned a lot. It's uh, it's funny, it's uh, gone so quickly. Mm-hmm. And um, I think it's a good place to be. You see how your career evolves. Uh-huh. I think year one... I came here, I mean, you're sort of searching for experience, but year two I was fortunate enough to be in a position as one of the favourites. So at 24 you come in and you think you've got the experience and knowledge and then there's this pressure and expectations and I still think that particular year I was obviously enjoying that whole process and then uh, I think halfway through my career you start to sort of dislike the place, the pressures, the experiences and... um, and I think what I'm enjoying about the 18th year is just a different mind space. Uh-huh. It's like I wanted to come back, I wanted to be here, I want to race again. And there's probably years where I really wasn't in that sort of mind space. You talk about 18 years on, the pressure being a little different. You know, do you do you feel any outside or internal pressure to you know to this might be your last time in Kona? Do you feel like you need to? have a successful race or you're just here because it's kind of where Chris Lee the legend was made and you're here to finish some business um, no I think it's it's totally different I, I mean I've been lucky enough to watch the race for years on the sideline now and I mean I've got internal expectations but the good thing is there really are no consequences mm-hmm. and if, it, if I achieve that then it'd be a great way to go out and it's not, I mean, I'm not going to I mean, try to win or do something silly because it's, it's as I said, in, in your younger years when you try to do that, you have to take risks and then it can all go to hell. And I just don't think I'm in that physical condition to really shoot for, for the top. Uh-huh. But I know I can still get a very respectable result. So, um, no, it's, it's, I think the pressure's right off for me. And I know you hear athletes say that all the time, but it really is. And I said it's a real bonus if I if I achieve what I want to achieve, but I said to you before I'll be be walking if I have to, and and um, yeah, just get get the race done, and but I'm hoping for a good experience, uh-huh. a, a pleasurable experience. Yeah. So a couple of weeks back, I might have been ten days back, you posted a video on Facebook of from your race here in '97. I don't I don't know how often you watch it, but uh, I'm sure you watched it the full length through. Then did that watching what happened to you in 97 talk through that and did it did it fire you up or did it put the the scare of god (laughs) in you (laughs) no it fired me up i I mean i've seen that footage so often Mm -hmm. um and the only reason i put it up is i had some friends in europe who wanted to watch it and um thought i'd try to motivate them in a sense but it's funny i I saw that um, when we posted and i went straight down to the finish line and and it's just my little moment and my little thing and i stood there where to the point where I got in the course, and I, I, I mean, you just can't imagine being that close to the finish line. So no, it's, it's a positive thing to me to see, and uh, I know and learned so much. I think the whole sport learned a lot from that. So it was um, now it's positive for me to uh-huh. see that. So all right, enough about the past. So <laughs> what about what about now? What about 2013? How you kind of you got airlifted out of your home in in Lions? How's how's the training gone, and and how do you feel? Other than, I mean, there's no expectation, but how do you feel going into the race? We're just rolling with the punches. It's uh, it's funny how you see different people respond, and we had neighbours that are freaking out, and but we had a lot of neighbours that, for four days in lines, we just accepted it, and it was actually, you wouldn't want too many people hearing it, but it was a little bit of fun, and we just made the decision to come here early. So I think as a as a consequence, it was a good thing, and uh, I've loved being out in the swim. I think that helps me a lot. Uh, going out in the bike course, uh, I had to be careful not to do it too often. I wanted to enjoy that course, particularly on race day. And I think I got it done enough times where I enjoyed it, had positive sort of thoughts when I was doing it. So that was, I think, three weeks was definitely enough. And mm-hmm. um, no, it wasn't wasn't a bad thing. And I mean, no school, two kids. It's like uh-huh. it was a, a guilt free holiday. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. And uh, I mean, no pressure on you, but do you think? This will be the the swan song for Chris in Hawaii, or overall, or I've said it uh, in a couple of times this week. It's I think the final time I call it my career, 
and I've been one of the lucky ones for 23 years where I've been a professional athlete solely and uh, been lucky as I said and I'll keep I'll keep racing and, and training but just doing some fun things and I, mean, I was joking if I won then I'd have to come and defend so so be it if that's the case I'll, I'll do it that's then. pretty good pressure to have yeah. <laughs> so no, I mean I know I'm gonna I'll probably wake up on Monday morning and go for a swim uh-huh. and, um, that's just I mean, your nature and my yeah, nature so, that's in your DNA yeah but um, I still I, there was points where just the pressures of sponsor and I mean mm-hmm. like, you know exactly how it goes it's um not that it wore me down, but I my sponsors have been so great. It's like I think it's time to to sort of stop asking and and um, hopefully move on and have a totally different role with them. Uh-huh. And so yeah, things will change from this point on. But yeah, you may see you see me as a fifty year old to the start line again. Who knows? So, uh-huh. yeah. Awesome. Well, I mean, coming from another Aussie who who looked up to you immensely and still does, you know, when I when I first started. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Tear it up. You'll be here next year, which is a good thing. Hopefully. Thank you. (laughs)